Hello there viewers and welcome back to my garage where at the moment I am sawing out all the rust what's left on this yard and then I will be body filling it because I actually wanted to know off camera if this was actually busted or not and yes there were parts which needed filling in didn't really uh, fancy putting it on video because not really that entertaining but with big jobs like this I will actually have it on camera on video shall I say so you can actually see the progress of the actual car itself and as you can see it is a massive job to get all this rust off this one bit of panel and I doubt that's all of it as you can see body filler here outside there the hood and that it let me open that up I need to get the bump off so I can actually see the rest of the rust white thank you and there it is wow that's a lot so there you go it's vanished that's a good thing I noticed that the rocker panel on the right was off. That is the paint sorted out. You apologize for that. As soon as I wanted to get more paint, the phone decided to ring, even though it's on silent. So how is everybody doing? Hopefully doing fine and having a great day and holiday. You do do the six weeks holidays. There we go. Now that is done. The hood is looking better. I wouldn't even uh, notice that the bodywork needed bondering. Oh, you have to be so spot on with the paint now these days. Where you get these like streaky lines. And it gets you to waste more paint. I'm sure that the game is 100% against you to make you spend more money than necessary and gets you to wreck your cars quicker than possible AI traffic and all and then all the uh, janky uh, roads there we go. and that bit that rust. I think that is rust. Cars just got rust in the wrong place. Is it? I don't think it is actually. There we go. It's fine. Go, you up. And there we go. That is done. Close the bonnet, the boot. There we go. That's the bonnet. This is the boot, the hood. All right, there we go. So that is now painted. I need to screwdriver just in case because I need to check the 
number plate. That does look a bit screwy on there. Loosen that up. Can you fall, please? Thank you. There we go. Hammer. Thought I had the hammer over here. Okay then. Go. I'll pick you up instead. And that is fine. Okay then. There you go. You tightened and you. And that is good. I need to actually put body filler on this. Just remembered and I painted it up as well. Probably should have known it needed doing because that massive black line. Right, there we go. So where's the paint? Me. And there we go. Hopefully, quick and easy. All done. That is good. So, bumper can go back on now. I need the wrench. Need you to open and you up. Sign you up. I need to have gander. Oh, just notice something. What is actually getting that? Something. Oh, it's her, uh, back grill. Okay then, so that looks like it's done. But thanks to the bending and everything else, it seems like there are lights that are off at the moment you know what let's sort out the car's suspension for now shall we so I need to push this into a lift but before I do that I remembered I needed to take this rocker panel off There you go. We all them bits. And now I need you and you. I believe that is it. There we go. I was going to say, I believe there is one more piece. We will have that there. That can be. Sold. Now I need to gracefully push this to the left. I can get it up, but it's not going to move that way. So, okay. So, plan B it is then. I'm off to the beach house shop. To go and get the jack stands, which I haven't actually bought back yet. Taking out the turbo, and it seems different. Fine, it's a bit crazy at handling. The sound as well sounds better. I like can actually hear the air being pushed through. Ooh. Still a bit loose at the handling, got to admit, but saying that, I did kind of handle that better than uh, I would do last time when I uh, driven a turbo. I'm just edging. Oh. 
Buck two, correct? Yep. But doesn't matter really, it was only a light ding. And I have got a uh, collectible. I'm still collecting the collectibles no matter what really to be honest because they actually do help out in the end. Coming down here has made me think more about what I said in a previous episode where I would like to do a different series in this game and that would be like a role playing series. I need one, two, one, two, thank you. I don't know what the story is going to be because I don't think I can actually do the story how I would like it to be because of obviously audio and effects and everything else. I know I'm subscribe to epic music at the moment and they have got sound effects and everything else but it's just what do you think of it would you be interested in me doing a uh, role play series it will 100% guarantee be me actually doing the similar things what I'm actually doing now but it will have other things added to it like uh, the phone instead of seeing a screen I'll probably actually implement a phone ringing and have like a bubble come up instead of the screen goes translation to see what the job is like not really wanting to buy anything else quite yet there now it is time for me to skedaddle back to the garage take these stands with me I can't move that Chad at all. So it can't go on the lift, it has to go on these stands. So I'll see you there. Back at the garage, I've took the jack stands over to the Chad and see. Not hardly any damage at all. Fine, there will be some damage, but I guess it will just be something like a Bondo fix or something like that. So that can go there. What did I see in here? Don't know why I'm getting lag spike. Don't need you. I don't like these, to be honest. So you can go there. And that can be sold. Thank you very much. Why is there lag spike? Don't be lag spike, please. I just walk up here. I don't have to go all the way around. You know what? I mean, you're back at the garage. Right, I need a wrench. So I can tighten these bolts up. I do reckon the red one's gone the back, do they? That just vanished. Oh, it's there. Okay, then. No, not working at all. It must be because uh, it's too low to the ground. It's close. Not right. So, can I cheese the game. Let me take the torch off. Thank 
you very much. I'm just thinking this is a stand. All right, at the back. There we go. Well, it's up. So shall we get to work then? All right, let's go ahead and get the suspension done on this car. Make sure it is ready for the actual uh, middle panels. There we go. So I do believe this is actually called the middle M panel. Oh, and that bar needs changed as well. So that needs to come off. That needs to come off. Go. That can be kept. And that is a strange sight to see. But when you're actually watching me, it kind of isn't. Right. So I need to lower myself again so I can attempt to get to drive shaft. There you go. I can get that off. That's no good. And that bar isn't good neither. Go, dry shaft off. Bad, you stay there. You come with me. Go over there for now. I need to look at you better. Alright, that is fine. So that needs to loosen. That is loosened. I need to get that bolt. And there's another bolt just on this side. And I can't go any lower. But it's right kind of there. I can't reach on the other side. Okay then. This car is actually moving, so... I need to take you off. Go. Is that it? Oh no, there's a bolt there. There we go. That should be that. The fuel tank. Or do you call that a gas tank? Now. I need to get that. Actually, do I need to get this bar off? No, it's just the rear wheel well. Okay then, that is the rear left. Okay then, let's go ahead and put that in. So it is Chad body rear left wheel well. Um, floor M. I do apologize. It is the floor M. What is needed. And left. There we go. Let's go ahead and take this out. I can actually have a quick switch. That'll be good. Go. I need you. You. Need to go under. So I need you to be cut. Is there a uh, technical term for uh, grinding away a uh, welded area? I know, obviously, I'm grinding. It's a grinder. But is there actually a technical term? Like, hey, instead of saying grinding, you say, hey, I'm just doing this to the car. There we go. That is that bit, I believe. That bit. That bit. And that bit. Yep, there we go. That is off. Good. 
you can go on and I need the welder go and I need to focus on the same area now you how do I get you off that other question that bit is attached to the boot bit so this is the bar which isn't attached to this bit at all so it's that bit that bit that bit there as well I'm trying to actually do this in a way where it's less hassle there there I haven't done anything there that's fine that is not attached to that is it this bit? Okay then. But this bar does need to actually go here. So it's there, there, and there. Isn't one there? Oh, but there is one there. Yes, there we go. Floor M is now out and sold so I need to go ahead and get this one and put it in once I've sorted out the uh, bar I think it says supporting bar or is it the strut bar right, let's have a look right side and um, here we go frame rail ah okay then. I believe this goes in after the floor M there we go but of course I need to get it out of here I Oh wow, this one's mangled as well. Okay then, fair dues. I need another wheel well. Go. So that is that bit. That bit, I think. And. Oh, that is obviously good and gone. So what is everybody's uh, plans for the rest of this week? Is it playing games, spending time with friends, family, reading the book, listening to music? Or you're going to be subscribing, liking, and viewing all my uh, content. Uh, sorry for that uh, selfish uh, promo there, but that would be awesome if people did do that, to be honest. I know they won't, but it will be awesome if uh, you did. So there we go. That's that done. You can go there, but no, I'm interested. Uh, what are you a lot uh, going to be uh, doing? I actually don't know quite yet because, like I said, this is bulk, so I don't know if I'll be on holiday or having the uh, week chill when this video is released. So let's go ahead and not open. Door. Make you though, and you can be welded. You 
you and you in that is that oh gas that's fine i know what to do now when i was on the new map the modded map and i went to this area i actually thought it was for uh, your car it's not it's for this tank to actually get refilled with uh, gas so it's kind of like recycling reusing their actual uh, product what you had and just refilling it but this refilling doesn't give you waste because there's these bags where I say oh you've got this sweet tub but if that tub runs out you can buy the sweet bags for a bit less money and it's actually recycling and saving uh, on wrappers and everything else so you just refill your hub but yeah you put the sweets into the tub what are you left with a wrapper so it's not really 100 percent like hey you're like reusing stuff because end of the day even though that wrapper can be recycled it is still classed as a byproduct as in byproduct of waste because you still need to bin that sweet packet it might not be binning the sweet tub but still, end of the day, you've been in a wrapper. I see this quite a lot on uh, adverts where they go, oh, here you can refill your thing and it's no waste and everything else and recycling this. And I'm like, but have that item carried to the item what's already at yours you have to have it wrapped unlike this bit you actually take your canister and get it refilled there there's no wrapping or anything now just imagine this all right the pick and mixes, you get these small little uh, tubs for a certain price. You get a medium ones for a certain price and the big ones for a certain price. Okay, they're mostly like Haribo uh, sweets and probably some other uh, named uh, brand. So, how about this as a price tag? You bring in your sweet tub to refill it you pay this certain amount there you go you got no wrapper to cook away and all what you need to do is take your own sweet tub go a shop say i would like to fill this to the top and whatever grams it States on the tub, you have to fill it to that point, and then you pay for it. And you can pick whatever sweets you want from a pick and mix area. And hey presto, you got sweets that you 100% want instead of buying this mixed bag and only 10 out of say 20 sweets you like. So, what happens to the other mount just little things just jump in my mind when i'm just playing games or watching videos or an ad comes on tv it's uh all right one big thing what i'm um and ahhing about because obviously i have got a busy life 
I like cooking. I keep seeing these adverts and codes for, say, HelloFresh. I am on the fence with them because, primarily, once I've added everything up and done the actual uh, food shop, because obviously people have to budget now and then in this day and age. So it's like, oh, right. But for four meals for myself equals up to a week's worth of shopping, which means seven days I get food. And that's obviously paid for but obviously i have to go shop buy carry bags that's another thing obviously byproducts of the waste but now they're a life bag so that's better but that food of well, that week lasts me that long I don't have to worry about anything else. I don't have to worry about going to the shop or anything else. But for four meals, which means four days worth from, like, say, Hello Fresh, it equals up to the same amount of money that I spend on a week shop. Fair dues. I don't have to waste any food or anything else because obviously they've gone ahead and done the right measurement for that meal give you the right ingredients and everything else they give you uh, tips how to actually uh, cook the meal itself as well so you're kind of saving time and effort for shopping but is it worth it in the cost run? That's what I'm on and, and aring about. I don't know. Uh, it'll be nice for a bit more information. Of course, I have looked on their websites and I'm like, but this equals up to this. And it's like, if I run out of this food, what they've uh, given me, I have to then spend over a week's food shop to get more food. Because what I've paid for hasn't lasted me or isn't that filling. And it's confusing and very confusing to actually explain, to be honest. And it is getting dark so i need to get light i know i haven't done much i feel like i've just spoke about stuff more than actually doing stuff to be honest. i don't need to worry about brake at all i would like to get suspension on this car so i need the suspension of the back and I'm not worried about differentials quite yet so I need the left no that's front so I need one rear shock absorber and I need the rear axle and I need one hub for the rear there we go and let's leave it as that for now let's go ahead you in there pick you oh okay then so i can't put you in there and bring you so i have to tighten you fine fair dues just have to do more trips mind you go i tried to do it as two trips 
And there we go. That is there. Now, you can go there. Titan, there. Brilliant. And where's the one what I had? Here we are. And there we go. And that is done. Good. So I need that there. And then Shock Absorber to go in there. And then there. We need the other Shock Absorber from this side. Good one. And that can go in somewhere. Maybe not the right one. Yeah, Shock Absorber, Jab, Bar, Rear. Okay. Oh, now it goes. Okay then, don't know why I didn't get a uh, pick just then. So that is that. There you go. So now that is now connected. I need... Ooh, what am I going to go with for this car? As in suspension. Am I going to go with the normal suspension? The, the leaf suspension? Or am I going to go for hiring or lowering? You know what? I think I'll just leave it as standard for this one because it's going to have the smallest engine put into it. So I need two of them. I'm not going to go uh, big with this car, to be honest. It's just going to be box standard, a big car, which can go at low speeds, just chill with instead of taking that car out and losing control and just permanently crashing all the time. This car will actually get me from A to B. Might be slow, but it will be in fact. And that's what I'm looking for, to be honest. Find you up and find you. Now I need to swap over to the screwdriver and put you on now I can actually worry about the brakes and everything else go go I need you to go in or aren't you going to Oh, it's the barrel, is it? Okay, then. Right. Leave you out for now, then. Okay. I need rear calipers. And has this car got a main brake line? No, it hasn't. That is a thing. But I should be able to fix that later on. I need both calipers, brakes, rear, rear right, rear left, there we go. I'm just going to put these on, I'm not going to do anything else until I've got that main brake line. Can I pick up the right ones? Yeah, rear right, there we go. I need Tighten this up. There and there. I'm not putting any pads in quite yet, neither. I'll do that. All I would like to do so far is to get wheels on. Go. And like that. And that is that. I 
do believe let me just uh, recap on the bar because they're similar is there a uh, bar what goes across like the uh, torsion bar or is that all for the front and the strut bar and that yeah it's for the front okay then so differential okay right what's the differential on the lad go differential is 3.8 or 1.5 engine and that's what's going to go inside the chan so i need hmm probably a better differential than that a 4.6.2 oh goodness me that's too low uh they're one in between nope the lowest is 3.2 and the highest is 4.6 but there's a two you know what let's risk it for a biscuit because i don't know if the differentials even make a difference in this game it is a heavier car so i guess it would need more uh oomph to it even though it has got a uh, basic engine still would need some oomph to it so it can actually push and carry its own weight you don't want a small engine then have a massively uh, heavy body on it and no uh, room to actually move or a differential engine or anything like that so that should be that for now and yes indeed this is the end of the episode thank you very much for watching hopefully you enjoyed the episode and yeah we are nearly there getting this uh, car uh, on its wheels so thank you very much for watching i appreciate you all and hopefully You'll see me in the next one where I get this car on its wheels and possibly have the engine ready to go into it. Bye.